Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to a new video. As you can see, I'm out here in the middle of nowhere desert. Typically where I find myself is in the most random, sketchiest places. And I'm out here looking for sheds, so I am of course shooting a video for the shed tour over on the Hush Hushin channel. And for those of you who don't follow the Hush channel, some of you guys may not even know is, um, we have another channel, Business Hush this hat and it's a big YouTube channel with a couple partners of mine KC and BMAC we've got a couple guys on our team Martin and Logan who shoot video for us so that's why you never see like these daily vlogs out in trips like this sorry I can't breathe <laughs> it's so hot but anyways the reason you guys see like all my daily vlog stuff is at my house a lot of people always ask like hey when are we gonna see some shed hunting videos and those live on the hushing channel and there's plenty of them so link to that channel is in the description box but I figured you know what let's pull out the vlog camera get some stuff for my personal channel and just kind of show you guys what I'm up to oh, I'm trying to get out of this creek bottom and up this hill to a elk shed I just glass. So good night. This stuff is not sturdy. Not the best with one hand either. There we go. So I think I'll I'll take some video out here and then of course we'll get back to the daily stuff at home. The garage is kind of on pause, so thanks to everyone who's left nice comments on the garage build. It's literally so close to being done but there is some time in between the uh, home automation team can get to my house so I figured you know what a couple days good time to go look for some sheds well, I'm not quite to the antler I glass but um, I know it's just a little further that direction but I just glassed another white one. Oh my gosh miles and miles for that raghorn it's something we know we're not going home empty-handed so that's that's good well I think the other one's a little better than this but not much so let's cruise over here and, and pick that one up not much better than this one man they hide when they're that small good night Is this all I'm gonna find today Ooh, baby. Two rights, brothers. Hey, hey, made it back home. Almost, almost a little too late. But lucky for me, I made it on time because my tough shed is here. So this is my new tough shed. Sweet. Custom built just for me. The colorways that I picked and the, everything. So. It's on the trailer right now and the guys are in my backyard getting it started. I just need to move the old tundra. They just line up all these jobs and you go do them, huh? There we go. So I've got a really weird like little nook in my backyard, kind of random. My property line goes up and then for whatever reason shoots back right there. But this neighbor's tree was hanging down into that area and decided to get the clippers and trim it all and leave room for the shed but that little shed will be for lawnmowers maybe my e-bikes maybe my camp chef stuff i don't need in the garage weed eater stuff like that so it's gonna be nice basically everything i have will be internal i've got the big old shop office got a two-car garage with all my hunting gear and then i will have the tough shed for all the random other crap We have good news, the shed is done. Those guys put it up pretty quick. I'm not gonna lie. It looks a lot better than it did before. This little corner of my yard I always kind of thought was an eyesore. You can see through the, the, the chain link fence and just a bunch of brush and trees and weeds. But I'll go give you guys a closer look at the tough shed. But right now, I'm actually working on packaging up and shipping 
this set of antlers. This was the number two auction. The one that I signed with Shed Crazy. So, you got Ben's signature there. You got my signature here. And thank goodness my buddy Jeff from Bone Tats, which if you guys would like to see a collaboration auction shed with Bone Tats, let me know. We definitely gotta make that happen. But he showed me how he packages all his antlers when he ships to and from people. And this is what he said. You get the swimming pool noodles. These are 97 cents at Walmart. Some packaging tape. I got some stretch wrap. And I also got some, some more tape and some foam for like the random stuff that, you know, maybe the noodles can't get. But I got to package this and that. They're going to Tennessee um, to a guy named Nick. Thank you so much, Nick, for your, your bid. Can't wait to do another one. Once I get this package, maybe I'll start thinking about what will be number three. And I also have to think about what to do with number one because the, the winning bidder was spam, whatever you want to call it. I might just throw it up on my Instagram. I'll let you guys know what I do. Just finished packaging up those antlers. I'm gonna run them to the post office. They should be uh, pretty interested in that package. I'll show you guys on my way out. But here's my tough shed. Just picked up a pamphlet at Home Depot called the number. Pick the colors and you get to, you know, you get to kind of pick which way you want the door to swing open. Nothing crazy, but you kind of get to customize it to how you want it. They pop this up in like two or three hours. It's a nice little space. I'm not going to lie. It's kind of cool hanging out here. It's like having a little fort. You know, like a hut. It'd be kind of cool to just finish it. It's tiny. I mean, it's six by eight. This is the whole thing right here. But enough space for maybe my tracks for like my Can-Am. I mean, obviously I'm not gonna use those till winter, so I don't need those out. But my tracks, my lawnmower, weed eater, like I said, all that kind of stuff can hang out in here, free up some space in the garage. So thought I'd show you guys that real quick. This was one of the summer projects I wanted to do. It took about six weeks from the time I purchased it to the time they installed it. They're that backed up. Look how that turned out. Just zip tied together. It's gonna have a new home. So they're headed off to Tennessee. Pretty cool to see where people are from and who bids on these things. Like I said, next auction will be going up soon. Maybe before I close this vlog, I'll pick one out and we'll do it again. Okay, we are headed out with the swimming pool. Pool noodle party. Let's see if we can get this thing out of here without denting my walls even more than I already have. Hauling antlers in and out of here. All right, we got this. Driving the Toyota today. This guy, need to give it a shine. Maybe a wax job. It's already so dirty. I've got a lot of antlers, guys. If you have any ideas on how to auction them or what you'd be interested in. You know, the first two I've had done so far were kind of spray painted, then autographed, but I don't need to do that every time. You can do something different. So if you have any clever ideas, or maybe if anybody would want one just plain as can be, let me know in the comments. We can make that happen. Easy. All right, so get these in here. This should be a lot cheaper than putting it in a box. The box apparently just increases the dimensions, which increases the price. So after I go get them shipped, I'll let you guys know how much it was to ship them. The results are in to ship a set of elk antlers to Tennessee. Ground is $81. Well, we are back to the house doing work for the Hush and Channel. I just got done editing this one, which was a shed hunting trip with uh, Jordan Harbertson of Mountain Ops, Shed Crazy, and Seth from Canvas Cutter. This trip, Jordan finds his first uh, brown elk shed of the season. So he's pretty stoked. That's live. Also, the biggest set of the year I found brown this year that video has gone live so a couple new videos over there if you guys are into the shed tour go check those out on the hush channel but i think right now it just might be time for me to start mapping out how i'm going to make the move from all these mounts out to the garage plan to make this all mule deer up here big elk in the corner lounge i've gone over all this but i think i'm going to start with the deer on the top 
Well, I'm looking at old pictures when I just threw up a ton of my mounts on the wall. Kind of randomly while I was just cleaning out the garage. Look at that before picture, by the way. So I can see that at least six bucks will hang on that top row. If I want to squeeze one in, I bet I can do seven. But I'm going to start pulling the bucks that I know I want to hang. Like this top left one in the photo is this guy right here. So I'm going to start pulling them out and taking them into the garage and maybe we'll get a couple of them cleaned up if they need it and start laying out the whole garage but yeah this guy he's moving he's going on over there for sure there's a look at how these things are gonna look up against that barnwood wall looks pretty dang sweet so this guy straight on this is how this guy looks straight on at the wall he's kind of quarter turned i guess and obviously they're going to be up high, so, you know, someone's going to be looking at them about like that. So just going to spray them up and clean them real quick. That way they're nice and clean before they go up. You can see there's some, there's some dust and heck, there's some flakes from the vinyl flooring that are actually in there from when they did the floor. Showed you guys a while back the product I'm using to clean them is called Velva Clean. This is available on their website. It's velvetantlertechnologies.com. I'll put a link in the description box. Uh, so a quick link, use code ERIC to save some cash on checkout. This stuff helps clean, helps with bugs, uh, breaks down and clears these of oil. If you have them in your house, they can tend to get oily over here. It's good on the hair, it's good on the antlers. Um, it's super useful, especially during this whole build and the moving process. So if you have a mount that's been hanging on the wall for a while, you definitely want to go check some of this out. So make sure you use the code and uh, let me know if you guys like it. For the people who sent me messages on Instagram, everybody really loved it. This thing has been laying on the ground for months. So just dusty, kind of got a dull look to it. We'll shine it up real quick and show you. Well, I forgot to show you before I set them down over here. I don't know if the camera picks it up as good, but man, the way they come out after cleaning them, they just have a shine to them. They look super good. All the dust that really doles out the contrast is gone and really brings out the darks and the lights. Nice little, sh a little shine to them, I swear. I don't know if you guys can see that on his cape. Uh, hit the antlers with it too. They were dusty. Obviously, if you go look at any of your mounts, I'm sure you'll see plenty of dust. So if you guys need a cleaning product, that's what you want is that velva clean and uh this is the buck i call dirty 30 buck this was a fun last day buck right place right time uh some other hunters kind of bumped him out of some pines that they didn't know he was in there he came running right towards me and i shot him straight across the canyon so turned out to be like 31 and a half wide there's kind of your straight on view i got three bucks that turned to the left and then I'm gonna have three other bucks that turn to the right. So they'll fight face this way, and then over on this side, they'll face out this way. So this is uh, one of my favorites. This is my little brother's muzzle loader buck. We saw this buck for a couple years, set some trail cameras, found him early in the summer, and got lucky, and Walker nailed him on the muzzle loader hunt. One of my favorite hunts with my brother. So I've got that buck to do, and then this buck to do. We'll clean all those up before we hang them. But yeah, I mean, that kind of gives you an idea of how big the wall is. 12 foot walls, got a lot of real estate for taxidermy work. We are down to the final six. So this last one, let me show you this real quick. This is a general season rifle buck. My little brother Walker took uh not far from here honestly not far from salt lake we were pretty shocked to see a buck of that caliber where we were hunting and couldn't get him the night we spotted him hunted him the next morning glassed him bedded made a move on him and uh, he got up and walker made a great shot on him so pretty sweet buck just a pretty pretty Typical four point, high 160s, just barely shy of 170, just barely. Pretty good time length on this guy. 
great buck for general season, but that buck and then these five are gonna be the bucks that I put up there. How I'm gonna measure them all I, and flatten them out and straighten them out, I'm not sure is this gonna take trial and error. The thing is, each one of them has like a different hookup set up on the back of them. But my goal is to make it to where all their noses are about level. Um, that way they all at least it look straight because I know you can't really go off the chest, you can't really go off the top of the antlers because they all have different um, shapes and forms. So I think going off the nose, making the noses in a straight line, which I'll just use one of the lines on the barnwood wall as a reference. That's kind of the goal, but uh, I'll probably save that for another day. Well, it turned out to be a good vlog, little mixture of everything for you guys, some out in the field and a lot of stuff here at home. Quick update on this guy, still haven't sold it or anything. This is auction number one, the one that was on eBay and unfortunately had some spammers overbid and never pay. So I'm gonna throw this on my Instagram and just do a quick auction there. I'm gonna do it through Sunday. This video is going live Sunday morning. I wanted to make sure everyone on the, on the YouTube platform had a chance. So if you don't have Instagram, please go create one if you want to bid, but I'm just going to have everyone put the bids in the comment section and then I'll deal with them one on one. Uh, and I'll ship it out either Monday or Tuesday. So if you guys are interested in the auction, go to my Instagram at Eric underscore Chesser. But for now, we're closing up this vlog. Thanks again.